Hi guys, so hope all of you are doing good and it's been a long time since we've seen each other and I think the last video was 30 days before with respect to the hardware series and why this video is special this is because the patch 1 results of Smart India Hackathon 2023 are out. First of all congratulations to all of the people who have been shortlisted for the finale I guess 101 problem statement results have come now and uh, also keep waiting for the batch 2 results i guess that most of you would have submitted multiple ideas and for the people who haven't got uh, shortlisted there's nothing to worry okay because everything is a new learning learn from your mistakes and see where what you can correct because this time the competition has been so hard that uh, the quality has gone down and the quantity has increased in the evaluation which i have done i have seen that most of the ideas have just been thrown out like that and the problem statement is one thing the idea submission is something else and that is how it has been a stiff part when it comes to the evaluation we are here to talk something about the evaluation because i have been shortlisted as the evaluator of smart india hackathon 2023 and i got the mail yesterday and what's pathetic about the part is that the deadline for the evaluation is given as November 27th while I received the mail for evaluation by November 29th. How this evaluation thing works is that uh, we will be registering as an evaluator just as you are registering as a student and they will evaluate us and based on our expertise and what we are doing and how we can help the Smart India Hackathon panel or the problem statements, they will shortlist a set of people and they will assign three judges for every problem statement so i got uh, one of the problem statement like that and i've got up to 63 ideas to evaluate and i cannot reveal what problem statement is that maybe you can see me at the location so we have been waiting for a lot of time with respect to the smart india hackathon results as initially the dates were given as november 15 to november 25th within that the smart india hackathon results will be out and then it was changed to 25th to 30th and we waited for 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th and 29th, 5 days we didn't get the results. And it was at yesterday's midnight when the results came out. And that's not surprising because last year we got the results in the final batch, that is the batch 4. So let me tell how this batch works. So let's walk through to the batch 1 results of Smart India Hackathon 2023. As you see everywhere it's a 10 screening, batch 1 result is declared and yeah fine, let's have a walk through. Okay, the results just came out yesterday and the page has itself crashed. <laughs> this was something I didn't expect. Okay, uh, it's fine, but let me just uh, tell you what I was about to say. So you would have seen something which is called as waitlist teams. So each team they have selected five finalists and two waitlist teams for each problem statement. Why they have selected the waitlist teams? Do you have any idea? Uh, let me tell what it is. So, as this time, every team have, has selected uh, multiple problem statements, there are chances where a team can get uh, shortlisted for two ideas or three ideas or four ideas, how many, because I know people have submitted more than 10 ideas. So, you can go for the finale for only one problem statement. Imagine you have uh, submitted five ideas and you have got shortlisted in three ideas for the finale. You can select only one idea. What does that mean? The two other slots gets empty. And when that slots get empty, the waitlisted teams get in. Uh, let me tell you more clearly. So there is a problem statement from ISRO. There is a problem statement from Ministry of Defense. You have been selected in both of the problem statements. Imagine uh, here are five teams and here are five teams, two waitlisted teams each. So you have selected for the uh, ISRO problem statement, leaving behind the Ministry of Defense problem statement. What does that mean? The finalist count gets down to 4 and that's where the waitlisted teams get in and they become the finalist. And this is how the entire process works with respect to the waitlisted uh, teams. And the results have been out for 101 problem statements. So keep waiting because the batch 2 results will be out soon. We just received the evaluation for batch 2 yesterday and I hope that uh, it should be out in next uh, three to four days. So before uh, concluding this video, let me share to you something about the evaluation. Okay, so this is my evaluation portal, but I won't be displaying all the things as I say. Uh, let me share you based on what they have evaluated and based on what we are evaluating and based on what we are told to evaluate. First thing, novelty of the idea. As I have already said, how genuine is your idea? How new is your idea? Is it uh, some existing system with just some minimal feature or something that is actually new? 
that is the point factor next appropriateness thus your solution address the problem statement are you giving a solution that is specific to the problem state then the technical feasibility what does technical feasibility mean you will be given a 36 hour time frame can you complete the entire product within the 36 hour time frame this is one other evaluation criteria that totally depends on how detailed have you kept the technical stack just uh, something outlined or okay you know what you are doing that is how they evaluate or that is how we are told to evaluate and then the impact what is the commercialization what is the business plan what is the future impact of the product is it sustainable is it something that can create a revolution is it something that is going to solve the problem for real so this all comes under the impact and totally we will be giving a score so based on that we will be selecting if you are accepted or if you are rejected or you are in the borderline what does borderline mean they are the wait listed teams and uh, overall that is what the and that's what the overall review means and then we would be having to give a comment like why we have selected or why we have rejected or why we have put in the borderline this is how the entire evaluation thing works and once the batch 2 results are out i hope within 3 uh, to 4 days i'll try to make a detailed video on the preparation for the finale and what you should do in the finale and thanks for the support so far and i hope this video was you if you have any other queries with respect to the results or any other clarifications which you want us to clarify you um we are there to help you out any time